everybody, it's Dana Sullivan, the Stampin' Chick, in my bare naked <laughs> empty craft room. Oh, this adventure has been an adventure. <laughs> We've got a lot of work done. Uh, the entire downstairs in my house is piled full of stuff from my tiny, tiny little craft room. I've established that the size of my craft room is 11 foot by 11 foot. So I was a little bit off, but the uh, square footage is roughly the same. Uh, it's not an 8 by 10, it's an 11 by 11. Um, which seems like you should know that it's a square, but with the way that I had everything packed in here, it was really deceiving. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna do a quick little pan around of the room so that you can see it completely empty. Uh, I've not seen it this empty in three years, and um, so it's really interesting to see it this way. Whew, so let's get to it. All right, friends, let me step into the hallway right quick, just so that you can see. There we go, get focused in. All right, so the room is empty. I did take out uh, the taller shelf, which was the third of those right there, you know, that we used those. Uh, Matthew made all three of them, and they were standing upright on the wall over here, uh, right here along this wall, and we decided to repurpose two of them for shelves under the counters. And so I have one left, and I've moved it into the other room, and then I have that shelf left uh, to repurpose or or just update, and uh, not really sure yet what I'm going to do with it. Um, I think there's a really good chance that I'm just going to update the paint and uh, get some little storage tubs for the cubbies. Um, and, uh, I don't know what I'll do with the shelves, but this particular piece, uh, has been with me for a long time. Um, gosh, I think I've had it for almost 20 years. So, uh, actually I know I have because I got it when I first started paper crafting. Uh, so it's actually been, gosh, almost 23 years. So anyway, I've had it for a very long time, and it's kind of a sentimental sentimental thing. So um, I've got to figure out what I want to do with it to make it functional in this room. So that way I, I can justify keeping it. <laughs> so let me come into the opposite corner here so that you can see. Now my space is so small that I can't really get back far enough for you to see the whole space, but you get the idea. Um, there's the, the edge of the wall here, so I'm in the corner and, and you can see there. Uh, I've pulled all the tubs out and uh, I did actually start um, arranging and sorting and, and putting things into tubs. Oh, but um, I had to take everything out because today our friend is coming to help finish the edges of my countertops. Um, Matthew did come in with the saw and cut off some of them so that it would make it easier. Uh, but our friend's going to bring his router and he's going along the entire edge of the counter to give it a rounded off finished look, which I'm super excited about. <laughs> And uh, then we'll dust everything off. We've still got to patch up the little holes from the track uh, shelves. And, um, and then hopefully I'll stain the countertops today. Whew, and paint the shelves. So as soon as I can get that stuff done. And then I'll touch up the walls. I'm hoping to be able to start putting things back in the room and get back to work uh, by the end of the weekend. So, there's your quick Craft Room Again 2020 update. <laughs> Let me just show you the chaos that has ensued. This, <laughs> that huge pile of stuff, is only part of the stuff that is this room. <laughs> and then there is my living space, which is completely 
overrun with stuff. So, as you can see, there was way too much for that room. I will be decluttering a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, stay tuned for all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.